Hey, hey, everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the application Amidst for Minecraft. All right. And Amidst is a mapping application that allow you to select seeds, find the perfect, you know, seed for biomes and all that kind of stuff and see structures, you know, like in cities and uh, temples, de jungle temples, desert temples, all that kind of stuff on there. All right. Very, very cool application. Uh, but it's not available on CurseForge, all right? So if you have searched for Amidst Minecraft here in Google, the first link you'll get will be a SourceForge.net download. Now, these are the older versions, so you don't really need that. You don't want to pay attention to that. It's been picked up by a new developer for a while now, Toolbox for Minecraft, and is hosted on GitHub, all right? So you can see the source code and all that. So if I follow this link here for it, uh, it'll take me to the source code on GitHub and all that. Now, to get the downloads, you go to the releases area here along the side and click that and that'll take you to the latest downloads, all right? Now that is also available in the search results itself. Uh, the page releases is listed, so you can get to it direct from this releases area right there. So when you go to there, it's going to give you a list of the newest downloads, uh, the betas, and you know, updated 10 days ago as of this video. But you want to get the downloads from the assets section here. So you click the little uh, drop down there and it'll give you a list. Now, if you're on Windows, you'll download the EXE. If you're on Mac or Linux, you'll download the JAR file, all right? And then the rest of this is source code if you needed source code for some reason. So I'm going to download the JAR version. And when I click it, it'll download. Now I have a browser extension called VT for browsers, uh, which is virus total for browsers, which will let me check out uh, that link. And you know, that's pretty much a good idea, but I can go to the go to virus total report for that link and find out that it is clean. All right, it's a completely clean file. Show you where it's coming from. It's scanned with 80 engines. It's all good but you may get this warning in Chrome that says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the file that you downloaded? Um, and it's talking about Java jars in general, guys. So it's uh, the type of file. It'll do it on EXEs as well. Uh, and you may get this warning, but since you're getting it from the official site and on GitHub, then you're in good shape. So just go ahead and choose keep for that and it'll download to your disk, all right? So when you download, go to the downloads folder on your computer, whatever it's set up to be, and you'll see that there is the application that you downloaded. Now you may need to let it through Windows Defender or uh, Gatekeeper on your Mac or PC. Uh, and on a Mac, you right click and you choose open and it will give you the option of letting it through. All right, now I already had that one configured to do that. And this is just network settings for filtering. I can choose whether I filter through or whatever, all right? So you may see that on your computer. I'd already had that one scanned. The latest download was would do it to show you this message of, is it, it's from an identified unidentified developer. Do you want to open it? Now that just means it's unsigned. That means they're not paying to have a, a signing ability or whatever. So if I look at it, at it here on Windows, this is my download. If I open it, uh, then it'll say Windows protected your PC. You need to click more info and choose run anyway. All right. And it's just because it's unsigned. All right. They, they don't, this is a free application. They don't want to pay money uh, to do that. When I hit run anyway, it'll let me through on the Windows Defender. All right. So that's just something to keep aware of guys. All right. So basically, uh, once you have opened it, here then it is going to look in your main official minecraft launcher for the profiles that you have here in the main launcher so you have to have the main launcher on your system with the versions that you want to target installed and launched at least once all right now here on the main launcher there's an option for latest release all right that's something you can set up in installations where you can choose releases or you could have even snapshots where you're seeing the latest snapshot listed here, but you have to run it at least once. Now I have this Minecraft set up for a bunch of different versions, release one, release 1.1, release 1.10.2 and so on and all that, because I look at various seeds and stuff and, and all that in different ones. Yours will look different than this, all right? But generally you're gonna want the latest release. And again, you have to have launched it one time. 
but select that from the list here. Just click on it and select it and then hit the little arrow and it'll turn green and take you to a blank amidst window where you go to the file area and you can choose new from random seed. All right. And that'll show you a map for a random seed. All right. So that's part of the seed selection process. You're just going through and you know choosing randoms now if you have a seed that you want to use to examine then you could chase say new from seed and you can paste that seed in here to see the seed but it'll show the map then and you know it's showing the pillager outposts and the villages and your home uh where you're gonna uh spawn all that desert temples these are uh some of the water monuments ocean monuments uh this has some mushroom islands so you can examine all around all right, and then if you just want to cycle through seeds, you can either hit Control R or Command R if you're on a Mac and cycle through various seeds. Now, this one's a little bit slower than the ones in the past, uh, but you know, it's getting more and more structures and getting more complex over time. So I could just go through and select seeds like that. So that's it, guys. And it's basically, like I said, dependent upon what you have in your profiles in the main official launcher. So be sure that whatever version you want to look at is uh, listed there. Now also be sure that the Amiss application will actually support that version that you want. So here it will support 116 and above as this video, uh, or 116 as this video, you can see that I could see a 116.1 seeds. So just check against that to be sure it supports the video, uh, the uh, version that you want to look at. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope it's helpful to you. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.